also, my name's Hank Vogels. It's an Italian name. Uh, I got caught with 15 metres to go on a flat stage one year after attacking with 2k to go. As much as it was the most frustrating moment of my life, it's still pretty cool. We got you. McEwen. <laughs> 2k to go, faster crash. Faster, faster borderline crash, about 2.5k to go. And I was with McEwen and we were there too early, way in the front. I looked around and Robbie's just gone, go! So I've hit him and got like a 150 metre gap with 2k to go. And um, over, Robbie had to launch the sprint at about 350 because he was sitting on and I was in the front. And um, yeah, I got caught with 15 metres to go. I still run fifth, but yeah, but he would have got in trouble if he didn't win the sprint. And I would have got in trouble too. <laughs> That's you, really good, that pizza. Like, and I reckon doing a Grand Tour takes a couple of years off your life. The way I see like a Grand Tour is like, okay, I'm going to train for a marathon this year, Boston Marathon. Okay, now do that Boston Marathon 21 days in a row. And by the way, in the second and third weeks you do the Boston Marathon, we're going up like Alpe d'Huez in the middle. Or the Tourmalet. So, yeah, it's pretty, that's how hard they are. Like I lost nine kilos in the Walter. One year. That's really good, that pizza. The speed they ride. I was always 80 kilos when I raced. You know, we got Colombians now, 53, 55 kilos. You know, that's a bag of cement. That's a full bag of cement. Now put it on your bag and now ride up hill. So that's how you got to think of it. So for me, it was terrible. At one stage in the Giro in 05, I was in serious trouble. And when I'm in serious trouble, like I got out, it took me a long time to get out of bed. Got to the start. And they started this one stage, was directly up Cat 1. So, kilometre zero was followed by KOM 25k to go sign. So anyway, I'm like at the front, trying to calm everyone down, doing piano, piano. Anyway, this some bloody Colombian or Spanish guy attacked up the road and I went absolutely mental, grabbed my water bottle and was chucking water bottles at him down the road, screaming in some kind of language. It sounded like a, like a crow. You know what I mean? But oh, it always I always struggled up mountains. So but I was I was okay because I could stay with the group. So the thing is you're dead once you're out of the group, head, it's over.